Welcome back to our lecture number two of the course properties of AB materials. We will have a walkthrough of the various properties of materials, at least the uh, major categories that we are going to uh, be discussing in the duration of the semester, uh, plus the exact properties that we will focus on uh, for each uh, category. We are still in the first week of the course, uh, specifically the introduction to engineering properties of AB materials. Uh, we will proceed with the uh, first property, uh, which is the physical. Before we do so though, uh, please recall your uh, physical sciences, particularly, uh, particularly uh, the extrinsic and intrinsic divisions of properties of matter. Uh, material properties have the same or the same categories apply to uh, material properties uh, in all uh, categories. And while we do not necessarily consider only the intrinsic properties in engineering design, uh, for example, we are consider mass and volume in uh, in design considerations or or given the inter extrinsic properties uh, being dependent on the amount of, uh, amount of material uh, that is the volume or mass. Uh, this mat uh, material uh, these pro material properties are not absolute. Thus. Um, you have the extrinsic properties of volume and mass and all derived uh, quantities from these uh, parameters. But we be careful that uh, not all derived quantities of mass and volume are in extrinsic. You have uh, the density uh, in this uh, regard. And while we may touch on the extrinsic properties, we are not that much concerned of them in the course of our discussion. Uh, also, we will be dealing much more on the uh, uh, intrinsic of properties. Uh, for the physical properties, uh, so far we have simply listed the following properties, uh, geometry, uh, structure, density, shape, size, and porosity. Uh, we will only be detailing some of them, particularly size, shape, surface area, and porosity. The uses of these properties in agricultural operations could not be more so emphasized by their uh, applications uh, shown. Uh, that is, it take into account the grading, and sizing machinery and the heating and cooling processes. Uh, in the drying, as shown in figure 2a, the grains are so positioned so that air is allowed to pass through uh, pass through the uh, grain, the, the, the grains because uh, the bulk of the material has spaces or porosity. While this porosity varies depending on the compaction of the material, we can usually determine a range of values uh, for which these values, uh, for which these values are true for a specific rice variety or, or moisture content. In the egg sorting uh, example as shown in figure 2b, the size of the egg, uh, either by its size, okay, sorry, uh, the, the sorting machine uh, determines the size of the egg either by its size so that it falls into the right shoe, which should be uh, indi indicative of the price of that uh, sized 
egg. So the bigger the eggs, the pricier they are. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm confused, confused really because uh, is it because of the taste? Is, is taste more concentrated in bigger ones? I'm not really sure because uh, what I'm sure here is that fertilized eggs are healthier than pricier and are healthier and pricier than the haploid eggs. Uh, is there a way to um, identify a fertilized egg from a non-fertilized or haploid egg? Maybe that's an application and maybe some of you would want to do that as a uh, research. It's possible. Okay. Uh, Okay, so the eggs have uh, they pass through the right shoot. They are uh, they will fall fall into. For the electric, we focus on uh, the dielectric property. Uh, properties of AB materials in <clears throat> in relation to uh, varied varied uses. Okay, we have here in Figure three A uh, the schematic of such occurrence of uh, the dielectric property, where uh, two plates of a capacitor uh, separate. The, the positive and negative electric charges indicated by the positive Q and negative Q. If you could remember from your uh, electromagnetism that uh, the uh, the charges are are measured in coulombs. Uh, with the negative charge uh, containing the uh, electro electric charges, which means the positive one is devoid of electric charges or, or the, the electrons. So the electric field of the circuit causes uh, the polarization of the charge particle updates. And the same phenomenon happens in grains. Okay, if you could see figure B, uh, yeah, figure 3B. Um, the grains when subjected to a current and electric field with which the moisture content can be determined using uh, the setup as shown, okay. Uh, it is therefore not the uh, moisture content that it is actually being determined by the by this moisture meter. So this is a moisture meter. Uh, but the, uh, the the device is actually uh, measuring the dielectric uh, permittivity. The moisture content is simply derived uh, from an um, uh, established correlation to the usually an equation form. Okay, so that that correlation uh, between the moisture content and the uh, the electric property. So the Erie uh, International Rice Research Rice Moisture Meter is a classic example of the use of the dielectric uh, potential of rice grains. Uh, did you notice the load cell in the diagram of the moisture meter uh, in the previous slide? It has another application to the measurement of breakage or compressive properties of grains, uh, which are mechanical properties and which we will be discussing in the uh, as the next property. Uh, remember the grain silo in the last lecture, we are now in the Mechanical properties, by the way. Uh, we have here a glass jar of malt. If you consider uh, yourself a beer lover, then you have this grain to thank for. Uh, in the point of view of mechanics of materials, uh, we are not interested in the grain specifically, or the grain, or of the or the beer that can be made of it. Uh, we have here a bulk column of grains. The grains below. Okay, the grains below. The grains below, okay, the grain here carries the weight of the grains above.
And it is this uh, concern, okay, of the development of a silo. Uh, if you if you consider now that uh, the silo has tons of grains inside it, uh, and each kind of grain will have specific properties, intrinsic, sorry, uh, and distinct to it. Okay, these kinds of grains are shown. So there's rice at the the, the end, far end of the uh, screen. Uh, the compressive strength is the capacity of the material to withstand loads tending to reduce material size. Uh, while the tensile strength is as opposed to the compressive strength uh, is the capacity uh, to withstand loads tending to uh, elongate the material. Impact, is, uh, impact resistance is important in contact mechanics. Imagine the grains uh, before filling up the silo, they are uh, loaded in a conveyor, in a conveyor belt and uh, or bucket elevator, uh, and then uh, entering the uh, silo, they hit each other. That is contact mechanics. Uh, we'll not be going to contact mechanics per se because that is uh, confined to advanced in, uh, courses in engineering. Uh, thus, we will settle with just the impact resistance at the moment. Uh, impact resistance is very much related to texture, hardness, and friction properties. Uh, vibration is critical to breakable AB materials. An oscillating uh, vibration can have a big influence in the handling of eggs, for example. Uh, lastly, uh, we will have uh, we will include the uh, property of viscosity in relation to rheology. Uh, viscosity is the tendency of material to flow, if you recall from your fluid mechanics. Now, we'll have a short work, walkthrough of the topic as of rheology in a uh, single topic because it is also an advanced course in engineering. Okay, while go grains do not flow but fall, uh, some AB materials are in liquid state, such as uh, molasses, honey, and milk. Some soft solids such as uh, soybean curd or tofu or tokwa have also the tendency to flow. Uh, we have here the last two properties, thermal and optical. Thermal properties would have a wide range of variability across uh, different AB materials. Uh, you have the specific heat or the tendency of a material to absorb heat. Uh, cucumber, shown, is the only AB material that maintains a cooler temperature inside compared to the ambient. Uh, it would then take more heat to increase the temperature of the inside of a cucumber compared, uh, for example, to uh, Uh, papaya, sorry, yeah, the papaya. Uh, thermal conductivity should identify how heat conducts through the material. How's, how does the cucumber do that kind of uh, feed? Uh, does it conduct more heat than a papaya? Um, boiling and freezing points should be important because AB materials have water in them, but the values of these parameters vary, vary from uh, material to material. Uh, latent heat. Uh, is further important to know how much heat introduced or removed is uh, needed to change the phase of a material. In relation to this is the uh, property of enthalpy. Lastly, uh, thermal and mass diffusivity, this diffusivities in liquid AB uh, materials should uh, introduce you to the convective nature in heat concentration gradients. The last property to be discussed are the color theory and models under uh, optical properties. Uh, this could not be emphasized more uh, by our need of looking at colors to identify something such as in uh, stating that a uh, fruit of sour sap or guayabano is ripe for picking or in the case shown if the leaves of a rice plant indicate nutrient deficiency.
In all, uh, these properties should help the AB engineer be, pra uh, be factual and logical in dealing with uh, engineering design scenarios uh, in a situation which um, could be a small dilemma or a big task, uh, being able to appropriate the tools to correctly measure uh, the right parameters of the uh, mat uh, the material should be key uh, in designing uh, great engineering products and, and equipment. Uh, while doing so forms a small part of the much bigger task of designing, uh, it is already a big accomplishment being just able to measure uh, them because uh, it's just it's it's getting the half the job done because what have I always said is you cannot you can ma manage one uh, what one cannot measure. All right, so uh, that would be all for the week. I am going to meet you uh, in lecture three. Uh, that would be in the. Uh, the first uh, topic of physical properties, uh, which is uh, size. I will see you then. Thank you for listening.